what kind of tactical exposure and clinical training do students uh, receive during their course? Well, they do have different kinds of internships. Uh, as you know, perhaps in Russia, there is the six year course of education mm -hmm. when we talk about medicine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this is a very fundamental course mm -hmm. because we'd not divide it into bachelor's degree and master's mm -hmm. degree. We just do the full course so mm -hmm. that at the end of your studies, you become a licensed doctor mm -hmm. and you have the right to work as a therapist. Mm -hmm. So uh, during the years of the education at our university, uh, students go to different internships in different clinics and hospitals of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes the administration of our university says that uh, our university is 90 kilometers long. Okay. That's a funny phrase because, of course, we understand that no campus can be 90 kilometers long. <laughs> but as a result, it is completely true because on the one hand, we have got the main campus where all the main classes are held. Mm -hmm. But also we have got different clinics around the city mm -hmm. where our students undergo internships. We have got our own clinics, mm -hmm. a clinic of uh, family medicine, mm -hmm. a dental clinic. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we're going to have the second dental clinic, mm -hmm. which is also important because our students can get not only practices there, mm -hmm. but also medical checkups mm -hmm. and also different medical services whenever they need it. Also, all the clinics of the city, and you know, Volgograd is really a long city. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. So all the hospitals host our students mm -hmm. when we uh, go for internships. Mm -hmm. For example, if a student has an internship, let's say in cardiology, mm -hmm. he or she goes to one clinic. Okay. If it's an internship in pediatrics, mm -hmm. to another clinic. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs>